learned to say yes and then figure it out. And I welcome openness and flexibility into my life. And I try to think, what's the worst that can happen instead of, this may not work out. And to rock it with confidence, because I know I got over the hump before, so I'll, I can do it again. And I'm learning that it's a good thing to be uncomfortable, because that means that growth is happening. But most importantly, I'm learning to define success for myself. We live in a world that's obsessed with the number of like Facebook likes that you get. But my real success is following my bliss, giving 100%, being in the music, and all those other things, awards, fame, money, adoration. Well, that's a byproduct of doing something that I love and hopefully do well. I'm mindful every day of scarcity and fear, and I really try to focus those thoughts instead on my own uniqueness and positivity. I've got my own thing. Suddenly, I'm not the one chasing the fad. I want to be the one creating it with my own ideas. There's no other Grace Kelly. <laughs> well, <laughs> I love her. <laughs> so I just wanted to say to all of you today to follow your bliss. Find your inspiration. Find that thing that just, like, lights you up. And the next time a monumental opportunity comes around that you think you're not ready for, you think, I need more time, I just don't know, I urge you to just take another second and consider it and say yes. Maybe you're not ready for it, but say yes, because I bet you are. And, you know, the word impossible does spell out I'm possible. And you may just surprise yourself. Thank you guys so much for listening. I want to, I'm, I'll be outside later today, and I'm excited to meet all of you inspiring people. So I hope those are some helpful words, and, and thank you.